Hi everybody, welcome to the Scott Show. This is Scott here. We are talking Monday Night Raw. Before we talk about Monday Night Raw, I just have a few things I wanted to get off my chest a little bit here. First of all, I wanted to thank every single person out there who is listening to the show right now. They have given us more than 4,000 hits on our speaker.com site. We have reached over 4,000 hits. So... I am extremely excited. I can't wait to hit 5,000. We should be doing that in no time at all. We are just rocking it. The last week, this last weekend, we have had probably the best weekend one can have in the podcasting world when you're just trying to get started and grow up. I know that we're not hitting like Bruce Pritchard numbers, you know, because that would be insane. But right now, we are growing. Leaps and bounds, and I want to just thank everybody for that. Um, it's super exciting. So I wanted to get that off my chest, uh, first of all. Second of all, I wanted to wish everybody a happy Labor Day. I know I even did that in a video. If you want to check out that video, it is on YouTube. And you can find that at tinyurl.com slash 102550. That's the word 10, number 25, and then the word 50. So check that out. That's where all our videos are. You can even take a look at all the past Raw, SmackDown, and uh, pay-per-view clips. So let's get started with Monday Night Raw. As we started with John Cena versus Jason Jordan. They were in Omaha, Nebraska. We got a lot of good friends in Omaha, Nebraska at the Santa Francis Center. Uh, they were at the CenturyLink Center, which is also good friends of ours since they are our internet provider. Uh, but in, they were in Omaha, Jason Jordan and John Cena started out. Now, I am under the impression that John Cena is not that great of a wrestler. And so they had to put him in with somebody who was halfway decent. And they put him in with Jason Jordan. Um, not a terrible match. I'm not, it made Jordan look great. Um, it was one of those things to me, like I said, it looked... It made Jordan look great, but then it gave John Cena all the heat back when Roman Reigns came out and they had a little um, conversation going on. So, uh, folks, I, I'm just not into the whole John Cena thing. I don't understand why he's even a thing. So, whatever. Let's enjoy that when we get to it at No Mercy, but they are... Really letting John Cena kind of off his leash and attacking the big dog with his uh, gift of gab, which he has a little bit more gift of gab than he has wrestling ability. I'll give you that. Um, well, but I just wish you'd go away. I'm just mind struck by how terrible John Cena is and how much I want Roman Reigns to win this feud. Even though I don't care about Roman Reigns either. It's like one of those moments where you're just like... Either I'm going to go this way and die or this way and die. I don't know which way I want to go. Either either way, you're, you're getting the same... You're getting the same thing. So, moving on. Cesaro and Sheamus fought Rhino and Heath Slater. Uh, they did come out, uh, the champions came out, Rollins and Ambrose. They will have a match at No Mercy for the titles. Uh, the the bar against the shield, or two-thirds of the shield. Um, Sheamus hit a brogue kick on Rhino, easy win. And then they get the stare down. Announcers talk about Hurricane Harvey and the support given to the people of Texas. I just want to give a shout out to Bruce Pritchard and Conrad Thompson, uh, two wonderful people from the Chest, uh, Something to Wrestle With uh, podcast. And you can go to loveforhouston.com and uh, help out the good people of Houston. Anyway, let's get back to the matches. Jeff Hardy and The Miz for the Intercontinental title. And this was actually a fairly good match. Um, Jeff Hardy is. He's a fair to. Eh, he's a fair wrestler. He's more. I sometimes see him as a kind of a flash in the pan. 
He knows what he's doing. The thing is, the Hardy thing was really boring for me. And then he got, like, the broken Matt Hardy thing. Which wasn't that bad. Because he finally got personality. And now that's gone, too. So, go cool figure. Um, the Miz ends up winning that match and retaining the Intercontinental Championship. He will uh, defend at no mercy against an opponent to be named. And we'll see who that is, uh, hopefully rather soon. Now, Nia Jax and Emma walk in and say, Well, you know, uh, we want we want a match for the title. And Kurt Angle, the general manager of Monday Night Raw, puts them in a match where if they win the tag team match, they get the fatal four-way at no mercy. So that is coming up later in the night. You had the... Uh, 205 Live 6 Man uh, I've just I'm distraught with how Monday Night Raw is 3 hours and they have to put a 6 man cruiserweight match in there um, yeah Enzo Amore and his 5 friends that's how I'm going to say it because I really don't care about 205 Live they have like 3 wrestlers that I like and that's Enzo Moray, who I really like a lot. And then they have Neville. And I'll think of another one at a different time. So, there you go. So, maybe TJ Perkins, but his dabbing thing is just stupid. So, it is whatever. So, Balor comes out says that he's going to be fighting... Uh, Bray Wyatt at No Mercy. That will be a wonderful match. I'm pretty excited for that. Then you get the tag team match with Banks and Bliss against Emma and Nia Jax. Uh, Emma and Nia Jax end up winning the match. They are going to No Mercy. You're going to have a fatal four-way for the title. And then you get Ambrose and Rollins versus the, the club. Gallows and Anderson. Eh. It was what it was. Uh, Rollins and Ambrose won the match. I really want to see Gallows and Anderson get somewhere, and I'm disappointed that they're not. Um, that they're not. I I want to see them team up with uh, Balor and do the kind of Bullet Club thing. So it is uh, it is Cancer Awareness Month for kids, so make sure that. Uh, you get your Connor, the Crusher shirt. Uh, that's super important. Now, I thought it was really cool. They were... Well, before I say that, I'm sorry. I kind of jumping ahead. Uh, they are going to have a fatal five-way tomorrow. The winner faces Neville at No Mercy. Hopefully, it's Enzo. Get, get to that match right away. And then you had the steel cage match between Braun Strowman and the Big Show. Great match, folks. Braun Strowman is out there. He is rocking it as a uh, main eventer. And he ends up winning the match. The big elbow drop from the top um, was huge. And Big Show is just getting better and better. You know, a few months ago, maybe maybe even a year ago, they were saying that they want him to uh, retire. And now he's looking better than ever. I think he's got a few more years into him. So we'll see the Big Show do more. Hopefully at some point. It's going to be Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar. And no mercy for the Universal Championship. It's going to be a great show. So, that has been our Raw recap, folks. Sorry, I went a little quick there. I just wanted to make sure that you got all the match details. And uh, that is awesome. So, I will uh, take a look at all the fun stuff of SmackDown tomorrow. And I will talk to you later.